Well, good morning again. What comes up over Babylon? Our reading is at Jeremiah chapter 51, verses 41 to 44 today. Oh, how Shishak is taken. Oh, how the praise of the whole earth is seized. How Babylon has become desolate among the nations. The sea has come up over Babylon. She is covered with the multitude of its waves. Her cities are a desolation, a dry land and a wilderness, a land where no one dwells, through which no son of man passes. I will punish Bel in Babylon, and I will bring out of his mouth what he has swallowed, and the nations shall not stream to him any more. Yes, the wall of Babylon shall fall. So yesterday morning we talked about the literal fall of literal Babylon. But again, Jeremiah continues to prophesy right here. And I wonder if you've ever built a little sandcastle, maybe on the edge of the ocean, maybe you were down at the beach, or you were at the edge of a lake. And eventually waves come by, and boom, that castle is uh, wiped out in just a moment, and just a couple of waves coming in, and it's over. It's just overrun by the waves. And that might be an interesting picture of what we kind of see here. The best that man can do on his own that doesn't amount to very much, and it's always unsatisfying. And besides that, nothing we really do is, is really completely on our own because, look, the power that we have to think and do, the power that we have to imagine something and then build it, all of that comes back at some point that comes from God. He gave us life. He gave us breath. He gives us air to breathe, water to drink. He heals us. Uh, it, we couldn't do anything if God didn't give us those things. Those are all things that, you know, we don't, we don't fall into this world with, with a packet of all this stuff with us. God gives it to us day by day, just what we need. And you know, our greatest achievements even, those come after we have uh, used the understanding that God has given us to get there. You know, it's amazing that our civilization put men on the moon. And we've also got Voyager 1, I think it is, is now f over 14 billion miles from planet Earth. It's way out there beyond Pluto. Pretty amazing achievements. And yet without God, none of this would have happened. Without God helping the mathematicians, and the people that make calculators and all that, none of this would have happened. This is only possible because God has either helped us, given us the potential to think, or that he's given us gifts in thinking, gifts in ideas that we've built on and, and worked with. So even our, our highest and greatest achievements, without God, they wouldn't be here. Now, all these achievements are amazing, but in ancient times, Babylon was considered itself to be quite an amazing achievement. You can read about the fascinating, amazing things in the city of Babylon its walls, its gardens, and so on, considered some of the wonders of the world. And the wealth of that city was unparalleled. And yet, the prophet Jeremiah sees it be utterly destroyed. I mean, taken down to zero, stripped down to nothing. And that mighty city is taken to nothing. And this picture that, that Jeremiah gives us is a picture of the sea, a few humble sea waves coming in and wiping it out. And then Babylon is no more. And more than that, she's made a desolation. Everything she has swallowed will be required of her. So when Babylon's probation is ended, she's brought down, and I mean brought down absolutely completely. And so her permanence and power, you know, at the hour of her might, she looked invincible. But it was, it was basically illusion. And the mighty city is destroyed as if by waves from the humble sea. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, people and nations should use their time carefully because we're all on a timer. We're all being tested. Lord, please, as we're tested, may we be found to be right. May we be strengthened by your might. May we be strengthened in our resolve to be servants of your kingdom. Lord, the kingdom of right and of giving towards others, givingness, not just absorbing. Thank you, Lord, that we can be different than that. Thank you that we can be on your team. Bless us and use us May we not be awed by the mighty achievements of Babylon or human civilization, Lord, as we recognize that everything good that we have comes from you. Thank you for hearing our prayer. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, friend, we need to see with the eye that sees the enduring and not the illusion of this moment. God be with you today as you serve him.